Welcome everybody, it's Mr. Big Ohms. Uh, today I want to show you again about decimal points. So all really decimal point is, is a point. Thank you, enjoy. All right, all right, I guess I have a little bit more information to tell you about decimal points. Well, the main important thing we want to remember about decimal points is the point. Okay, there you go. All right, all right, all right. So it's more than just a point. It says decimal point. We got the point part, right? Right? All right. After we have the point part, now we need to understand what does the decimal mean. And what decimal means is part of 10. And one way I would like to think of that is, you know, kind of part of your holes. So first of all, we need to remember what place value is. So the first thing, when we're writing out numbers, let's write the number one. Um, that is what we have. It has its place value, which is you know, the one's place value. We call, when we write down a number, that's in the one's place value. Now, when we count up in our number system, once we get up to nine, we don't have any more room for the next number. We're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create a second place value. So that second place value is for us to create our 10. So that's why we call this place value the tens place value, and this is the one place value, or sometimes it's the unit place value. So as I keep on adding, let's go 10, we get to 11, 12, and we get all the way up to 99. Well, then the next number we have to get up to is, would be the hundreds value. So to get to 100, that is one with two other zeros. So that's why we call this place value the hundreds place value. Now, what does that have to do with the decimal point? Well, these are all whole numbers, right? So what about if we start talking about less than a whole number? So if I take a little point here, and let's kind of erase, so hopefully you guys understand the hundreds, tens, and the ones, but let's say we just have a one. Now, let's start looking at how many partial units, or how many little units, is gonna take me to make that one. Well, it can't be, we already have one, so to make that, we could say it'd be 0.1, and it's gonna take 10 of these little uh, partial units to get up to 10. And these little partial units, what we call it, we call them tenths. Now, why do we call them tenths? Well, because it takes 10 of them to make one whole unit. Because think about it, if I say 0.9, I'm going to call the decimal point point. 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0 0.9. Well, if I have 0.9 here, the next number is going to be 10. But it's not going to be 0.10, because that would be the same as 0.1. It's going to be 1.0 which now has just created one whole unit. So it took me 10 of these partial units to make one whole unit. So then I look, well, how many of it would these units would it take? Well, if it takes 10 of these to make one, it's gonna take 100 of these partial units to make one whole. So we're gonna call this the hundreds place value, right? I mean, so again, I'll just do a little recap. We have our ones unit. That's the number you guys remember. Ones. Then it takes um, it takes ten of them to get to our next decimal point, and it takes a hundred of them to make our next decimal point. Well, for these, for our partial unit, it takes ten of them to make one whole unit, and it takes a hundred of them to make um, hundred of them to make one whole unit. So, if you're given um, a number, just remember that that decimal point, let's say the number 5.6, what that means is we have five whole units and we have six parts of one whole unit. And one thing a lot of times that we represent with our fractions, I don't want to get too much into it, but again, we could also write this in fractional form. It'd be five plus, well remember I said it takes six of these units. So if you remember your fractions, that'd be five plus six over 10 units to make one whole unit. So I don't wanna to get too much into fractions. I wanna keep it with decimal points, but I hope you guys learned something from there. Thanks, Mr. Biggums, I gotta go.